Hi guys, I've been wanting to do this for quite a long time now. Um, I used to run <clears throat> a little satsangs forums um, a few years ago where people used to come and we used to discuss particular topics or particular aspects of the human condition and how it all relates to spirituality and spiritual awakening. I mean, the basis of all of this was spirituality. And one of the rules in this sangha or this satsang was that whatever conversations that we had regarding this and whatever points of view and everything regarding these topics were going to be from a, an, a genuine experience that you've had as opposed to reproducing or plagiarizing the Bible, the Gita, Ramayana or anything that someone else has said as what self-realization is or what spirituality is or how it translates into the persona and how we then end up relating to each other and what happens is when you have taken active steps towards a spiritual awakening chances are that you might find yourself attracted towards certain gurus or certain ways of being certain thoughts schools of thoughts um saints right and which is all fine but at some point at some point if you don't let go of that what would have happened with your entire experience is it would only be a mental exercise as opposed to any real awakening happening and i have met hundreds um, and heard of thousands who have been under a spell so it's a metaphoric spell not a real spell maybe you've been a real spell and you come out of this 10 years 20 years you know some people their lifetime but you're none the better because you've adopted a way of being without it actually causing a real paradigm shift in your consciousness what is needed and what happens with an awakening and why an awakening is different from you taking steps towards an awakening is that an awakening in itself, of itself, causes a paradigm shift. That's what happens. It's not because you have taken steps. It's not because of where you are. It happens, right? Like a miracle, like magic. It is literally a paradigm shift. And the push and pull that you're going to feel throughout the then awakening into integrating that the push and pull is literally going to be you trying to get rid of the old ways and fine tune so fine tune the body into this new consciousness imagine the consciousness is this new blueprint that you now have and what you've got to do is to raise your body to that level your mind your body your whole intelligence to that level of that consciousness that's there and the pain you're going to feel or whatever, it won't mean that your awakening has gone away or that you've lost your state of awakening, but that somewhere the personality or the mind are coming in the way and we've just got to move away from that and you're in transition. So you haven't come to the end of your process. It's not that somebody has taken your awakening away from you or that you're no longer awake because you are. But the struggle that we're feeling is to align ourselves to this new level of consciousness. And that's where the magic then starts to happen when you then go into this new level of consciousness. But when we are stuck or when we follow or when we sort of go towards different schools of thoughts which is brilliant for a while it's brilliant because it's a tool now as long as it remains a tool and does not become you although it can become you and then you can transcend it and finally awaken that state as well but chances are you know a lot of the time it doesn't because the mind is so strong you will literally believe that you have had an awakening when in fact you haven't all you've done is adopted a new way of life that may not be a religion but it becomes a religion in itself because it's a way of life so they may not be a deity or maybe they might be a deity so you may have come away from the dogma of religion but then you kind of get into this other community think about it there's a lot to think about lots of love and take care